hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i am going to solve question 8 from exercise 4a mathematics book 3 new syllabus of oxford o level 7th edition let's begin exercise 4a question 8 each simplify each of the following a to d it has four options and it involves multiple laws to be applied Let's begin. Question 8a. We are given two terms that we have to multiply it for simplification. Parenthesis 2 a power a square over b multiplied by parenthesis a over b square and parenthesis close square 2. And let's begin. We will apply the first rule of power of power and multiply the powers of the terms. So, this will become 2a square over b multiplied by a square and b 2 multiplied by 2 becomes 4. Okay, now we will multiply the same terms and add the powers. So, it becomes 2a power 2 from here, power 2 from here and add them up. And b power 1 and b power 4, add them up. Simplify we will have 2 a power 4 and b power 5. That is the answer for the question 8a. Now question 8b. In 8b we have two terms we need to multiply for simplification. So parenthesis c over d square power 3 r cube multiply by parenthesis c cube 2d and square. So same rule applies power of power. And we will expand the parenthesis and then we will multiply the related terms. So, expansion c cube and this become d6. 2 multiplied by 3 becomes 6. Okay, here we have c cube and multiplied by 2, so it becomes c6. And this becomes 2 square becomes 4 and d square. Now we will multiply the corresponding terms, same base multiplication rule becomes power becomes addited addition so it becomes c power 3 plus 6 3 from here 6 plus here and here we will have 4 because there is no coefficient so it it, it, it stays 4 no multiplication occur here and this d6 multiplied by d square this becomes d power 6 plus power 2 from here and now we will simplify after simplification, this becomes c power 9 and this becomes 4 d power 8. That is the answer for the question 8b. Okay, let's go to question 8c. 8c, we are given parenthesis 3e cube over f square and overall power 4 divided by parenthesis 27e power 9 and f11. Okay, we apply the rule of power of power and expand the parenthesis. So we will have 3 power 4 e 3 multiplied by 4 and f 2 multiplied by 4. And here we have the same fraction. Now we will simplify it. After simplification we will have 3 raised to the power of 4 becomes 81. And e 3 multiplied by 4 becomes e12. This becomes f8. And this is the same as we already have. As <coughs> by the fraction division, we will inverse and multiply. So we will inverse this fraction and then multiply. So we will have same term and inverse of this f11, 27 e power 9. Now we will multiply related terms and add up the powers. So it will become 81. <clears throat> e will take 12 from here and 9 from here and subtract because this is a division here we will have f11 and subtract from it 8 power of 8 and 27 remains here as a denominator now we divide the 81 by 27 we will have 3 and e 12 minus 9 we will have e3 
and f11 minus eight we will have f3 so we will have the final answer 3 e cube f cube that is for question 8c and let's go to question 8 delta question d we are given two terms and we have to divide them to simplify so we have parenthesis g square over h cube and parenthesis power 6 and we have parenthesis minus 3 g5 over 2 h square parenthesis close and power 3 we will apply the rule of power of power to simplify the terms so we will have g2 multiplied by 6 2 from here 6 from here we multiply the powers and same goes here h cube multiplied by 6 and then we will have Navian and we will take minus 3 as coefficient and power cube g5 multiplied by 3 5 from here 3 from here and here we will have 2 cube and h2 from here and multiply the multiply it with cube now we will simplify it so we will have g12 h18 here 3 cube is 27 minus sign stays because of r power so we will have minus 27 and g15 and here we will have 8 2 cube is 8 and h power 2 multiplied by 3 becomes 6 so we will make a fraction a fraction division so we will inverse it and change the sign to multiplication okay this term remains same and inverse of this or reciprocal of this term and change the sign to multiplication now we'll subtract the powers by the multiplication rule, rule of indices so we will have g12 and then this is g15 and the denominator it becomes minus 15 when we take it from denominator to the to this multiplication so it becomes 8 coefficient and g12 from here and minus 15 from here so same way we will take h power 6 and this becomes negative power so it becomes 6 minus 18 and 27 stays there now we will simplify it so we will have 8 g power minus 3 h power minus 18 over 27 now we will change the minus powers and shift them to denominator to make them positive so it will become minus 8 and 27 and g minus 3 becomes g3 h minus 12 becomes h12 that is all for the question h d this is the final answer thank you guys for watching stay tuned for the question 9